Hey beloveds, welcome to another episode of Beanie TV. Guess where I am? I am in Tamale where I get all of my raw shea butter. So today we are at Yumza Enterprise, Ghanaian old woman company where she makes raw shea butter. So I want to run run the whole process with you guys how we get the shea nut into shea butter. So let's go. So now Hassan is going to tell us a little bit more about how we take the shea nut and what do we do here? We dry it out. It's when they give it to the woman, mm -hmm. they will wash it, dry it, bring it here for, for milk. So this is our milling machine. So this is the milling machine. And it grinds down the shea nut. Okay. And this then, is another milling machine. And this is a milling machine as well. Okay. And then what was this one again? After the milling, they will now go and roast it. Okay. So after roasting, now we get the milling machine. Okay. So after it's milled, and then it's roasted. It comes out like that. Okay. All right. Just so you know, shea butter is a two to three day process. So roughly, that's it. Roughly. So never take it for granted whenever you get shea butter. Okay. So after it's double roasted and milled, it then becomes this product. This kind of looks like chocolate, doesn't it? it looks like. So then after this process, they go ahead. And these amazing, strong, blessed by the Lord women go ahead and just continue to maneuver it with their hands over and over and over again to get that really, really beautiful consistency. Wow. It's like, it's almost like a massage. A <laughs> massage. All right, am I doing, but she's do, she does it better. Mm, she does good. it very good. You see my muscles? Okay. And then after this process, they go ahead and they put on the fire. So from here, then we extract the oil. Cool, let's go check that out. So this is the final process. I'm holding on to Hassan because I'm actually scared because it's really hot over here. So <laughs> this is probably the most grueling part of making the shea butter. It's melting it down from the consistency we saw before and melting it in these huge, like, what would you call these? These pots. Melting them down in these huge pots, burning them with fire, and it's really, really hot over here. As you can see, this is the final process of making shea butter. This beautiful color right here, this beautiful consistency, again, made by those like really, really hardworking women. As I showed you in this video, I was trying to do it myself and it was very tiring. So I commend them 100%. Like I said, never take any shea butter that you get for granted. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Appreciate you guys, Hassan. Thank you. Thank You're you so welcome. much. Um, this is the plug right here. This is Hamza Hashim. Okay, this is the plug. This is the guy that is always getting, well, his brother is the one that's always getting me the shea butter. So say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Hamza Hashim. So big ups to him and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really enjoying the culture of Tamale. I'll see you guys next video.